Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So many, many people know that I love gardening, flowers, and all the things in between. So I have been gifted two more tomato plants and some additional vegetable plants. So this is a beef steak tomato. I've never had one of these before. So this is very interesting to me to know how they taste. I think they have different flavors. So that's gonna be interesting. And I'm also going to have a little game of Guess That Vegetable. And then I shared these with another coworker. Comment below if you know what these are. All right, for the garden gurus, go ahead and lock in that answer now if you know what this vegetable is. I'll tell you in just a second. If you guess collards, you are right. And here's another one, but it didn't have a name. It is definitely a tomato so of some sort. Just don't know which one. So definitely need to get these out there. Let's do that now. Okay, okay, okay. So I know in past videos, I said that I do not like planting collard greens in the summer because I have to fight the bugs. But I am going to go ahead and give it my best efforts. And I just may have to use some neem oil you know it's supposed to keep the bugs off and we'll see if that even works but it's worth a try i do want to go ahead and um keep those going because they were gifted to me so i do want to give it my best efforts what i will also say is that i think there's a misconception that collard greens cannot be grown in the summer and they absolutely can be grown in the summer i have done it before and i have found that in the winter time when the frost hit them they have a sweeter taste to them not so much that you can actually um taste it if that makes sense but they just taste a little bit different but they're a little more tender summer but you absolutely can grow in the summer as well personally i like growing them in the winter time because i do not have to fight the bugs and per usual while i'm out there i find something else to do so i move this little guy to the front yard you'll see that in a later video so the next day i picked up my mother-in-law and like we always do we hit the garden center as soon as we walked up i saw these lilies and they were on sale so i think they were originally eight dollars and 98 cent but they were on sale for seven dollars so they had yellow and they had orange um and like i told you guys before i always try to choose the container that has the most flowers in there so i can get more flour for the cost so after getting that container of lilies it was like two dollars and 33 34 cent for each flower which was a huge saving from the original price of eight dollars and 98 cents guys my mother-in-law absolutely loves begonias their leaves are so waxy i know what i like She's so funny and she's always asking me if I'm going to get some. And one year I actually did. I got some pink ones and they were really um, pretty on the front porch. But they're just not my favorite so I don't always get them. Comment below and let me know what your favorite flower is. Look at these hydrangeas. Just beautiful. These hydrangeas were beautiful, and I am so glad that I got mine through a trash to treasure. And these little guys were very interesting. I think these are Sylvia's or Salva's. I've had those before. I love this purple flower right here, but I just couldn't find myself to pick one up and put it in the cart. This stuff right here, if it falls off and breaks, it's going to root wherever it lands. Very, very hardy. I'm really trying to be cautious of my spending when it comes to plants. So I really try to get perennials because I know that they will come back year after year. While we were standing in line, I saw this flag and I thought to myself, you know what, this is a good reminder that even when things are not going as great as we want them to be, it still can be a good day. Now, my mother-in-law and I do not discriminate. We will go to several different garden centers. I remember my lemon tree. I should have kept it in the pot. I had one, but I took it out of the 
Did you ever have any lemon pie? My tree never made lemons. To me, the lemon tree did a lot better when it was in the pot. I took it out at the advisement of my aunt who told me that it would not grow well in the pot, but it seemed like it did better. So I will definitely have to revisit Hope that. Very pretty. Look at all these blooms on these tomatoes. Look at these tomatoes. This got tomatoes. Look! I remember we used to pick these when I was a little girl walking home from school. When we would get home from school, my grandmother would say, y'all better leave those snake berries alone. You gonna get bit by a snake. Hello, if you used to pick these when you were a kid. You could get a banana tree. <laughs> we actually have this in our backyard, but it's not making bananas. So this is the time. It's a lot smaller. German time and English time. Started raining. I'm having to leave these girls here. They did open up some. At least this one did anyways. Hopefully I can get them in the ground tomorrow. Okra pods that I saved from last year's harvest. Some beans from last year. Worth a try. And I forgot that I had a bunch of seeds. Now, many of these may be out of date, but we're gonna try it before I start with the seeds I purchased the other day. So definitely want to go ahead and get some seeds going, some starters. I got these two. Some kind of flower that I had in the yard. They have seeds in them. I'm gonna plant those. And I found these in here as well that I never used. So this is lavender. And um, it says that it's a perennial. But these seeds also um, have a date of November 2021. So these may or may not grow. We're just going to have to figure out and see. Same thing with impatience. Now these are not, these are annuals. So these are just for the time frame. And these are 2021, but I'm in that orange zone, which says that I can plant from February to May. And then again in September to, um, September to October. So let's see. These require partial shade, and these require full sun. All right. I'm gonna use this garden soil because they are going to go in ground. And this one is one that my mother-in-law had gifted to me. And so I'm gonna use this to start my seeds. So it rained really hard last night. I need to get this in here because it's just sitting over in there. And I need to, I think what I wanna do is put this oregano. It's a little bit of this over here. So this is oregano. I misspoke a couple videos back and I said that this was, um, time it is not it's oregano so i my shoes like i have them where the water's come out because they were sitting right there and they were full of water here is the lettuce it's doing really good um this is this growing it's pretty green it's just slow but everything is just has rain on it. Here's that flower I was telling you about. Look how pretty. And with the strawberries, I think I want to put these in the ground. I think they do much better. I definitely need to get them out of this pot, but I think I want to put them in the ground. 
and these are not doing anything these are these are ever bearing I don't know about this particular type but these are ever bearing which means they will come back year after the year but they're not producing which is a little concerning maybe it's still too cold okay so let's go ahead and plant all of this stuff and um, get started here's the ones from the tomatoes and the collards I'm gonna use those as well a lot of times I save these little containers and I always say I'm going to do something with them. But I must say this is probably the first time I've actually done something with them. So these are the containers for, from some old um, uh, vegetables that I had. I put three of the green beans in each little container because you just don't know with seeds which ones are going to sprout. And sometimes you get, you know, all three and then sometimes you may get one. So I always put three in a container um or when i'm planting my seeds i put three in there i typically do direct sow but i felt like it would just be better to do this since the seeds were a little bit older and then i came inside and i of course got the seeds out of the okra pods and um separated those these are a little bit smaller so i think i may have done four seeds in the container i was still in amazement that the okra pods had survived from last year on the vine and i was able to dry them and replant them this year it started to rain again i really try not to let any good water go to waste so i always put out my I, I won't say always most of the time when i'm home and i'm able to catch the rain i will put out my watering can and my rain buckets this water does not go on my vegetables um, because it is coming off of the cover from the awning on the deck i use this water to water my ornamental flowers and so while it was still a little bit where it wasn't severely raining, I finished up planting, um, potting the rest of my uh, seeds. I also feel like this is why I do so much on the days when it is uh, good weather, because you just never know when the weather is going to shift. And a lot of times when I have a plan of I'm going to go outside and I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. A lot of times the weather will change on me and I only get to take care of X. So I try to really get out there and do as much as I can on that day. However, that has been proven not to do well because then I overexert myself and then I'm not able to be out there for a few weeks. So I do definitely need to learn a balance when I am out there and try not to push myself to do so much but also be productive in my time to where I can accomplish all the tasks that I want to do for that day. Well, since it's raining outside, I'm just going to go ahead and make some Kodiak protein packed muffins. These are the chocolate chip brand and um, I've used um, something similar or something by this brand before and my guys really loved it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So just need one bag of the Kodiak mix, one and one fourth cup of milk, two tablespoons of oil, and two eggs. So let's go. Preheat the oven for 375, all right. So I guess I won't do this either. Well, that's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Come back for more. I'll see you next time.